when we integrate, there are some curves that algebraically we are unable to work with and in order to get an algebraic answer, an analytical answer. And so, sometimes we must resort to using numerical techniques in order to determine an approximation to the area that we're looking for. So, at the moment, having a, this video being based around um, Core 1 and Core 2, so first year A-level maths, there are second year uh, topics for differentiation and integration that we have yet to meet and methods that we have yet to meet. So there are functions that we cannot currently integrate the way that we know how to do it. So let's say that there is this curve and I want to work out an area under this curve. And what I might do is I might split the area up into strips. So let's say I split it up into uh, this many strips and each one of the strips has exactly the same width. So let's say the width is h. Okay, so each strip has a width equal to h. Now we're going to start off with, let's call this x1, okay, my first uh, ordinate, as it's called, and this will be x2, and then x3, and x4, and x5, and x6, and x7. And then, I'm going to have these y coordinates that represent the heights of each of the bars. So I'm going to have y1, y2, y3, y4, y5, y6, and y7, corresponding to my x1 to x7. So the diagram looks particularly complicated at the moment. But what I'm trying to do is I'm going to try and estimate the area by making trapeziums. So I'm going to have a trapezium here, so this is a straight edge, and each one of these is going to be a trapezium. And I'm going to work out the area of each trapezium, add them all up, and that is going to be an estimate for my area. Now the area of a trapezium if it has two heights of the A and the B and a width of h, then the area is one half h a plus b. So the area of the first trapezium will be, well, the a and the b correspond to y1 and y2. So this is one half h y1 plus y2. That's the area of the first trapezium. So I can work out the area of the total shape by adding together a series of trapeziums. So the second trapezium will have one half h y2 plus y3. Then the third one will be one half h y3 plus y4. And so on. Until I reach the very last one, which will be one half h y6 plus y7. Okay? Now, what I'm then going to do is, to simplify this, I'm going to factorise it. So I can see that each has a factor of 1 half h in common. And so I can take that outside the front. And inside, I'm going to have this y1. I'm going to have two lots of y2 two lots of y3, two lots of y4, two lots of y5, two lots of y6, and then one lot of the y7. So I can reorganise this so that it now looks like I've got one half h 
I've got the first ordinate, y1, plus the last, y7, plus two lots of all the other y coordinates. And now this gives me a formula that will allow me to work out the area under the curve, give me an estimate, given the y ordinates and a width of h. And you could rewrite this to be one half h times the first plus the last, so that's the first plus the last plus two lots of the rest. Okay? Well that's like that's how I like to remember it. One half h first plus last plus two lots of the rest. So in the next videos, in the next few videos, we're going to see how we can use this trapezium rule, as it's called, in order to estimate the error under a curve.